Hello to you. I'm Jesse R. Johnson. I'll be speaking to you today about telescopes. This is a crash course in astronomy about specifically an extremely advanced, an extreme advancement to an old idea. There are two general types of telescopes. One, refractors, and two, reflectors. Refractors uses lenses and reflectors uses mirrors. This video is about a specific type of reflector. Reflectors come in two general forms, Newtonian reflectors and Cassegrain reflectors, and their subtypes. There are several types of mounts used for telescopes. Now, when reflectors telescopes were used back in the 1800s, silver instead of uh, uh, aluminum was used for the reflective coating. Silver reflects 95% to 97% of the light from its surface. Aluminum reflects 83% to 85% of the light from its surface. But silver tarnishes in open air and has to be re-polished. Silver is the most optically reflective metal surface known when extremely polished. For optical frequencies reflection, nothing equals silver. So how does one build a silver-coated reflector or telescope and keep its surface from tarnishing and have all photons and light rays reach its surface? This couldn't be done in the 1800s, but this can be done with the present level of mechanics and machines. The basic form of how to do this shall be illustrated with highly simplified drawings. This is so that all mechanically minded individuals will be able to understand it, especially professional astronomers and amateur astronomers, physicists, investors, and all other very interested financial and sci scientific parties. This also includes especially inventors and engineers at the top line. The most efficient design of this telescope is Cassegrain with a hexagonal back telescope glass as foundation to put the silver surface on because the hexagonal back glass is lighter and holds less heat than a single slab of glass such as what the Hubble Space Telescope is made of. Now, to begin, I'm going to change the position of the camera. Hold on, please. Now, to begin, this is a side view of the system. Side view, the secondary mirror, A1, the secondary mirror A1, right here, in purple, has a 100% pure, pure, that's pure, 99% 99, 99 pure silver coating on it as a reflective surface, A2, a reflective surface of 100% pure silver. Usually it's called 99.9999% fine. Now, the secondary mirror, A1, is housed in a sealed secondary mirror housing, which is C. Pardon me, B. Secondary mirror housing, which is B. That's where the mirror is sealed inside of. And all of the gases, D, all of the gases is taken out, is vacuumed out from it, and by having a sheet of 100% pure glass, C, pure glass, C right here, pure glass, 100% pure glass right here, that's how it's sealed. The 100% pure glass is the same quality as telephone optical cable glass. This is to keep the secondary mirror, A1, from tarnishing. Now the secondary mirror housing, B, B right here, the secondary mirror housing, B, is attached to braces, E. These are the braces. E, there's E, the braces, and the braces E. 
at one end and the primary mirror structure P at the other end. Here's the primary structure for the primary structure here, P. Right here. Right here. P. And at the, now the primary mirror, G, the primary mirror is right here. G, the primary mirror is right here. It's curved. It's in purple. Has a coated has a coated surface of 100% pure silver or 99.9999% fine, 100% pure silver G1. Right here, G1, pure silver. Right here, coating, G1. On top of a 100% pure nickel substrate, N, right here, N, N is the 100% pure nickel substrate in red. Now, this keeps the silver coating from coming off, and it adheres the silver coating to the nickel, which is wherein the nickel substrate in, the nickel substrate in right here, is attached to a telescope mirror quality glass right here, I. Now, covering the primary mirror, G, is a sheet of 100% pure glass, F, right here. F is here. This is pure glass going straight across, straight across. And the air between F and G, between the glass and, and the mirror, is vacuumed away to prohib prohibit tarnishing of the silver, H, right here. H is vacuumed out between the glass and the silver. It's vacuumed out. Now attached to the primary mirror structure P, the primary mirror structure P, that's this whole thing, this whole thing here, is a light and photon detector, L. This is L right here, and here's the photon detector right here, right here. Now in the center of the primary mirror, G, is a light passage hole, J. The light, this is a hole right here. Right here is a hole, right up in here, which is J, J, right here, which is also vacuumed. It's also vacuumed all of the air, of all air, and it is sealed, sealed right here with K. It is sealed, all up in here, sealed. Since 100% pure glass sheets, panes, or panels, F and G, F, are so pure, and C, pardon me, A2, A2, a pure glass here, pardon me, C, pure glass, and F, pure glass, is 100%, is so pure, 100% of the light rays, M, there's M right here, the light rays goes down, reflects off the surface, go up to the secondary mirror, goes down to the detector through the then and passes through the glass unaffected. The glass of F and G, pardon me, F and C are one thirty second to one half of an inch thick depending on the size of the telescope. Advancements in this system is keeping the, si the silver from tarnishing and letting all light to get to it using 100% pure glass. Everything else is unchanged in the context of telescopes. Please give only positive and positive and we can do this type comments. I want to thank everyone for watching and listening and a fine day to all.